Welcome to Zoology Wala. Myself, Dr. Sai, as you know. See, why we have to conserve the biodiversity? This point, I explained this in my previous shots. And now, what are the ways to protect the biodiversity? Why? Because if you are not going to protect the nature, the survival of human being also will become question mark, isn't it? So it is our responsibility to protect the nature. What are the different ways to protect the nature? Basically, there are two types of conservation strategies are there to conserve the nature. The first one is in situ conservation and the second one is ex situ conservation. Two types of conservation techniques are there. In situ conservation is nothing but conserving the animal where the animal is living, where the organism is living. It means uh, generally we will uh, conserve uh, the forest in order to protect the tiger. Isn't it? So the main target of ours is to protect the tiger. But here we are not going to taking the animal, taking the tiger from its natural habitat. We are keeping the tiger where the animal is living and then we are trying to protect the region around the tiger. So this is definitely it is costly, it is very expensive and economically it is also not that much feasible, isn't it? So protecting the entire forest in order to protect the tiger is in situ conservation. So here the animal developed distinct properties in the same area where uh, uh, of course it is living. So here without disturbing its natural community, without disturbing its natural habitat, without disturbing its own ethological characters, we are protecting the animal by keeping the animal where it is. So definitely it, it is the most favorable idea for the animal, but economically it is not feasible. Why? Because instead of protecting the single organism, we are protecting the entire forest, we are protecting the entire zone. So definitely it is costly affair, no doubt about it. So in-situ conservation, there are different types of techniques are there under in-situ conservation. In order to remember the in-situ conservation, just see this word, I see this small sentence, something like a mnemonic, hot restaurants in wild national park. This is a simple mnemonic in order to represent uh, uh, in-situ conservation. No need to remember the entire sentence or any other sentence. Very simple way. So this hot restaurants in wild national park. What do you mean by this hot? Hot means biodiversity hotspots. And restaurants, R-E-S, means biodiversity reserves. Restaurants, yes for sacred groves. And wild national park. Wild means wildlife sanctuaries. Wildlife sanctuaries. So these are all the simple ways to remember uh, how we are going to protect them, uh, how we are going to protect the in-situ conservation. There are different techniques. Uh, these are all the different techniques which comes under in-situ conservation. And we have number of biodiversity hotspots, 34 biodiversity hotspots, and of course biosphere reserves are also there. 14 biosphere reserves are there and sacred groves and wildlife sanctuaries are there, 448 uh, wildlife sanctuaries are there. See this, national park, you can add the national parks also, okay. So these are all uh, the different ways of protecting uh, the animal or the organism where the animal had developed the distinct properties. There are more than 90 national parks are also there. See, heart restaurants, biodiversity hotspots, and this is biosphere reserve, as per sacred group, wild for wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, not parks, national parks. So these are all uh, the categories which comes under in-situ conservation. Let us move to the next one, ex-situ conservation. See, this is a simple mnemonic, botany, zoology, chemistry, Telugu, this is a, a subject, and Sanskrit, of course, which is also a very good subject. These books are in saffron. See, here I have mentioned subjects. Book or, or these books are in saffron. Books are in saffron. Botany, zoology, chemistry, Telugu, Sanskrit books are in saffron. Here I have represented book. Books are in saffron. What do you mean by this? B for botanical garden, Z zoology for zoological parks. There it is national park and here it is zoological park. Chemistry C for cryopreservation. Telugu this is also one of the subject. Tissue culture. Sanskrit as I said this is one of the greatest subject. And here are seed banks, as for seed banks, are in saffron, saffron, saffron means, uh, means safaris. So these are all the simple techniques, uh, simple techniques uh, where we are going to protect the animal, where the organism is going to be protected and it comes under exitu conservation. What do you mean by this exitu conservation? Exitu conservation is nothing but taking the animal from its natural habitat and keeping elsewhere. 
protecting the animal protecting the organism is our target but here we are not going to protect the animal where it had developed the distinct properties like in situ conservation in ex situ conservation we are taking the animal from its natural habitat keeping in a separate enclosures uh, in order to protect the organism so here in the in situ conservation we are keeping the organism where it is living where it had developed the distinct properties we are not going to disturb the animal but here in the ex situ conservation as protection is very much required why because the animal is in almost in the danger of extinction so urgent measures are there urgent measures should be there to protect the organism so here we are taking out the animal from its natural habitat and keeping in a separate enclosures that is ex situ conservation in fact in situ conservation is the ideal strategy and ex situ conservation is a backup solution for in situ conservation okay so these are all the methods or techniques which comes under ex situ conservation in situ conservation ex situ conservation protecting the organism where it is living ex situ conservation is taking the animal from its natural habitat and kept and just keeping in separate enclosures that's it these are the two ways of uh, conserving the biodiversity see if you are not going to conserve the biodiversity definitely human beings are the first animals uh, first organisms uh, who are going to be suffer so the accusing finger will be obviously towards the human being so think globally act locally that is the best slogan in order to protect the nature in fact at summit and world summit all these are focusing only on the conservation of biodiversity and the utility of uh, resources in a friendly manner that's all about this video we'll see in the next video thank you my dear future medicos all the best